Well, it's Thursday, which means we got Bible study tonight. If you're part of our Facebook community, then I know you love it. And if you're not, you can join it by going to livingwithpower.org. At the top of the page is a blue box that says join our community. Go do that now and come back and listen to the Power Minute after. The Power Minute is a daily devotional that I read you about God and His Word. And I've written those in the past, and I hope that they're blessing you. So uh, today's Power Minute is called Trust God's Heart. The verse is Proverbs 3, 5, one of the most famous verses probably uh, in the Bible. It's trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. The rest of that verse, by the way, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Maybe you needed that today. All right, here's the writing. Things don't always turn out well for Christians, at least not here on this earth. Think about John the Baptist, who, according to Jesus, was the greatest man who ever lived. Yet his head was chopped off while Jesus went about healing people and performing miracles. The whole story doesn't make sense in our favor-oriented, comfort-seeking culture. We want the story to work out well for us every time. We want God's favor packaged in the American dream on demand for us the moment we ask for it. Yet if God allowed the greatest man who ever lived to have his head chopped off for the sake of the gospel, might it be possible that he would choose for us to undergo hardships at times? God is always at work. He always does what's best for us, even when we cannot see it clearly. In the end, you'll never be disappointed. In the end, he'll never let you down. You can go ahead and trust his plans for you, even if they don't make a lot of sense right now. Think about this question today. What areas in your life don't make a lot of sense lately, humanly speaking? How does the story of John the Baptist encourage you to keep on trusting the Lord? All right, um, I'll just let you guys think about that. I'm gonna pray that God will uh, do exactly that, what he promises in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. As you trust him and not lean on your own understanding that he will make your way straight and lead you down the right path, all right? And that's one thing we can know for sure. That if God has promised it, he will surely do it. All right, have a great day. Catch you again tomorrow, last day of the week tomorrow. So let's come back excited about serving God another day.